Yo, YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the Radar for Rasta Studios. What up, Mox? Guys, TLC 2020 is this Sunday. We're dropping our predictions for Jeez. every match on the show. Um, should be an exciting pay-per-view, hopefully. Anyways, hopefully it delivers on majority of it. We got some interesting things going on. A big-time gimmick match, even though the whole thing is a gimmick match. But this is a really interesting <laughs> one that we have going, um, going into it. Uh, so we have a lot to get into. We're going to have predictions on every single one of the matches right now advertised for the TLC 2020 card but before we do you know you got time it is you gotta smash that like button for this video and the other videos that drop like our takeaway from Smackdown that dropped just dropped before this one uh subscribe to the channel if you're watching and subscribe to the channel notification bell so you can learn when new videos drop like this one and the previous ones then that have dropped uh also follow me on Instagram Twitter Twitch TikTok, all that good stuff, social media platforms, all the same handles. Make sure you follow me on there. You already know links in the description section below. You got Amazon, HighSpots.com, uh, Fight TV, and Honor Club. Sign up through all oh, those, shop stuff. through all those, but use the links in the description section below. Appreciate it, guys. Without further ado, getting right into it, our predictions for TLC 2020. And we're going to start off with a tag team match. New Day, the tag team champions, going against Shelton and Cedric Alexander for the Raw Tag Team Championships. I think Shelton and Cedric should win this match. Um, I do as well. I think they need to be the tag team champs. I feel like the her business just needs to take all the titles. Yep. At least some of the titles. I mean, they, they have the U.S. belt. Uh, they should probably just try to get a championship belt. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But they, they should all have titles. They should all be dominant force. They've been the hottest group. One of the one of the surprises, honestly, of 2020 was the her business. Yep. Going back when how it started, you never would have thought this. They would have been so awesome and so cool and like that stuff they did with Raw Underground. They're beating everyone's ass. Like they were just so they've been so well booked and they've all done a, a good job and they've all elevated Bobby Lashley and everybody involved. MVP's doing a great job. So the, her business needs to keep the momentum going. And the New Day at the New Day, they're a Hall of Fame group. No matter what, they don't need the title. They don't need, they're just entertaining without it, with just themselves. They don't need anything. Her business needs it. Let's put it on her business. Do the right thing. There to be do the right thing. Yeah, I think one of the biggest surprises has just been MVP in general. He's really coming in and done yes, a really, really good yeah, job yeah, yeah. from the start. Even though his, his like beginning was kind of weird as to why they brought him back, but yep. he's done a really good job. Yeah, and I think it's just time for yeah, the hurt business has to be taken more seriously. They have to need more gold. They have the US championship, but it doesn't really mean a whole lot right now. So I guess the tag mm -hmm. team might help them out. And the new day might be better chasing than they are as champions at this yes, point, anyways. Course. Chasing yeah. chasing uh hurt business, Shelton and Cedric. So it'd be cool to see that. Um so yeah, um we're both picking Shelton and Cedric for the match. Next thing, we have the Women's Championship. We got Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, the champs, going against Asuka and a mystery partner. Let's predict mm -hmm. first who the mystery partner will be. And um, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I have no idea who this mystery partner will be. It's a big, big toss-up. It could be like a legend. It could be um, somebody on the current roster. It could be somebody from NXT. Maybe <sighs> this is a tough one. I have no idea to be honest. With you. I would like I would like to say Ronda Rousey, but I highly doubt it. Um, oh, no, not there, not for yeah, TLC. <laughs> not for TLC. I think it just might be like somebody like Lacey Evans or um, a Peyton Royce. Man, that'd be or, boring. Oh, it that? might be just somebody boring like that. To be honest with you, it could be just somebody super boring, um, not super exciting. I don't know why they took out. I mean, there's a legitimate reason why they took out Lana. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe she's actually hurt. Or they took her out. But in the end, I think it's time to take the belts off of Shayna and Nia. But the only problem is Asuka's your champion on Raw, so she'll have two belts. Uh, we'll see what happens. Fine. I think yeah, it is fine. I just think Nia and Shane are just such a bad tag team together. I think Shane needs to be in a bigger spot than she is right now, so I'm going to pick Asuka and whoever the hell she picks. We have no idea. Uh, I'm going to just be dumb and say Charlotte Flair because we haven't seen her forever. And <laughs> that is true. That is true. I didn't so think of the yeah, yeah. I would true. say Charlotte, Charlotte comes back. I mean, I don't know what the purpose would that's be. That's one hell of whatever. a tag team, Asuka and Charlotte yeah, Flair. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's a hell of a tag team. It, it really doesn't serve any purpose, but whatever. It's a, this, this the woman's tag team. And it's the team, only so belt Charlotte has not won too. Exactly. So, yeah. so I feel like why not? She come in, she'll hit the music and everybody. I mean, if there was a crowd, it'd be crazy. But uh yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna go with Charlotte and I, I think Charlotte and, and Oscar win. That's yeah, my that's prediction. a good idea. I totally forgot about Charlotte. I think I'm picking Charlotte as well. That's a good one. Charlotte and Oscar yeah. won hell of a tag team. Um mm -hmm. and it's the only belt she hasn't won, and it's a formidable tag team too. So I think that's good stuff. And you can create the feud between Oscar and Charlotte, you know, yeah. in between themselves as well. So uh, mm -hmm. that's a good one. All right. So the next match, Sasha Banks, the champion, going against Carmel. Carmella for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I want Carmella to kind of win this, but I don't think she is. I think Sasha's going to hold on to it. I think they want to have her a longer reign for Sasha. They don't want to flip off the titles too much like they have previously with Sasha Banks. Mm -hmm. um, and Carmella just came back, so I don't think the feud's going to end here. Uh, I think they can continue it out to maybe Royal Rumble um, and finish it out there. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I just think, you know, Car I think Carmella should win, but I think Sasha will hold on. Uh, yeah, I... 
I feel like Sasha's going to win on some technicality, like some type of uh, disqualification or something dumb's going to happen, and that way they can push this feud going forward a couple, maybe another month on, until, until the Rumble or something like that. Uh, just, I don't think the feud is hot enough where the, the where the title can switch hands right now and it, and it make a lot of sense. Yeah, I feel like they're just going to prolong this thing. So that's why I'm going with Sasha winning on a technicality. And as much as I want Carmella to win because I like the gimmick, I yeah, like the exactly. way she's presenting herself. She's she's definitely elevating herself as a performer. So I just want to like to see her do it, but it doesn't make any sense for, for where the feud is right now. So Sasha wins on a technicality. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Now, next thing on the show, Drew McIntyre, the champion, WWE Damn. champion, going against AJ Styles for the WWE Championship, a TLC match. I think it's obvious Drew McIntyre holds on to it. AJ Styles didn't seem like he would be in the position to actually take it from him, especially the way he stood tall over Drew McIntyre on this past Monday Night Raw. You know how that tends to work out. Um, I just think Drew McIntyre is going to hold on to it. They're going to keep him holding on to it. They have something probably big planned for him from WrestleMania. I do think he will hold on to the title till WrestleMania. Um, could be Brock coming back. Could be somebody else. Um, but maybe the AJ feud continues. We also still have The Miz lurking in the back round does you know does Drew McIntyre win this beat up and then miss cashes in wins yeah. the title we'll see what happens but I think in the end Drew McIntyre will win the match yeah I think Drew wins the match I think this is gonna be a bust ass match I think it's gonna you know I'm not gonna say it gets got match of the year potential uh, no. it's definitely got the potential to be that because both guys are so good and, and AJ with the bigger guy I mean that's like Shawn Michaels you know versus a bigger dude it's always like versus t- to someone that has a taker was always so good so I think they're that same mold um, it could be a great match I think Drew wins the match, obviously, but I think there's going to be help from on the outside from The Miz and his mm-hmm. big old um, security guard. So, you know, I think that that could add to the, the match and uh, maybe sway something in a different direction, but I think it's just going to be more of, of, of Drew just overcoming all these variables and all these issues and still coming out as champion and, and winning. And I think uh, if if uh, The Miz tries to come out, I think AJ might stop him stop from, from doing uh, it. Yeah, just because, like, nah, 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 you feel, if I don't get it, nobody gets yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, know? So yeah. I think, I, I think that's the type of AJ heel work that will be done there. So we'll see what happens, but it's going to be a good match. I mean, don't be surprised if this is a match of the year. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. So um, let's get to the next match. Roman Reigns, the champion, the Universal Champion, against Kevin Owens in the TLC match. We saw the way SmackDown ended. Make sure you check out our, our takeaway video from SmackDown that dropped yeah. before here. Um, Owens buried underneath all those chairs, ladders, and tables, and uh, he's he, you know he still kept fighting at the end. He got up out of all that. He still talked trash to Roman. Um, I, I just don't think Roman's gonna lose to anybody right now. If he's gonna nah. lose to somebody, it's most likely probably gonna be like a Goldberg at WrestleMania because you know how Vince is. Um, Please don't do that. I can see happening, but <laughs> yeah, I think Roman Reigns holds on to here. I just think uh, I'm interested to see what Jay does in this match um, because he will probably get involved most likely. Oh, yeah. and see how that ends up hurting him and Roman if it does or it helps him out and God where's Jimmy at I want to see with Jimmy get involved in this Jimmy's whole thing too as well man. but I, I hope this is a bust ass match I, want, I think Kevin Owens is going to take some major bumps in here and get his ass ha- beat yes. pretty yes. bad I think it'll be yes. a really good match but I think Kevin Owens is going to take some crazy bumps in this one I think this is just going to be Roman and Jay destroying him the entire time and just burying him and completely I mean, I think it's gonna be one of those moments like a kind of an Austin versus Brett where he's bleeding and he passes out type of thing where they're okay. gonna try to make uh, Kevin just keep coming and keep coming and not go down and not go down. And finally, it's just too much to overcome and just like, it's just done. Yeah. Like, I just think they're gonna bury him that way. Maybe he'll be off TV for a while and come back. So, like one of those things. I, I just have this feeling that it's gonna be Jay and Roman and maybe Jimmy comes out too and they just start destroying him and do kind of what we saw on SmackDown, just do it to a crazier level at TLC. That, that, that's where I see that going. So obviously Roman re- retains the title. I don't even think that they're just going to stop the match type of deal or Kevin just going to just be like, I don't know. I, th- th- out. I think it's going to be a little closer in that. I don't think they're going to go that far with it because it is Kevin know, Owens. So we'll yeah, see what but I, mean. I still feel like that's just where they're, I don't know. We'll see. I, I could be wrong, but I just have this gut feeling. It's, it's, it's going to be, I'm not saying uh, Kevin's not going to fight back. Of course, he's, he's, he's going to get some stuff in, but I just think it's going to be just a complete destruction of Kevin Owens. All right. Well, we both, at least we both agree that Roman Reigns will hold on. I think there's, there's not much doubt in that Roman Reigns winning the match and, and holding no. on to the title. Next match, the final match in the show, which I think will most likely be either the Roman match or this one will be the main event because this was going to be kind of interesting. You got Randy Orton going against the Fiend Bray Wyatt in a Firefly Inferno match. Now, right, is this going to be a regular Inferno match? Is it going to be a cinematic match? I think they're going to go the cinematic route cinematic. with it. Yeah. yeah, I think they're going to go the cin- cinematic route with it. Um, which, if it is a cinematic route, you could have Randy Orton come out kind of winning this one, but I think the Fiend's going to win this matchup. Old. Yeah, I think the Fiend is going to win because I don't think you can make the Fiend lose unless there's something wonky going on with a cinematic match. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason you can have Randy win. But in the 
end, I just think The Fiend is going to win. But the more interesting thing is what this match is actually going to look like and how it's going to happen. That's the more yeah. interesting thing than the match itself. But uh, I think The Fiend wins out on this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with The Fiend as well. I think you're going to have Bray, you're going to have The Fiend, you're going to have um, all this stuff and craziness. Uh, Sister Abigail, uh, Alexa Bliss is, is, is going to show up as well. We haven't seen her. They've kind of put her on the back burner the last few weeks. Yep. And I think she's going to make her return and cause Randy to, to lose or whatever. And I, um, I think The Fiend needs this because it's, it's his type of match. It's his yeah. psycho thing. It, it can't, he needs to win. And going back a few years when the other match, the um, House of Horrors match, whatever that was, uh, where Randy goes on top with the fire burning thing, it's just like it's kind of it's time to get the Fiend his comeuppance on that. So I just feel the Fiend wins this. Should be fun. The more important thing is we're going to see some wild, crazy shit. So be weird for some weird stuff that we've that we've seen already this year. So let's go. Let's just, let, let's let's see what this thing's all about. Yeah, I've been waiting for a cinematic match for a while. They haven't done one, you know, for for a decent amount since, of time since uh, Brain and Braun. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah, since, since the swamp. Yeah, since Brain Braun. So I've been waiting for one. It's interesting to see. This, it's something smart to hold it for just guys like Fiend, um, yeah. you know, to do it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. It's the, more, it's the most interesting match on the card as, as of right now, just because of what the stipulation is and yeah. all that stuff. So excited to see that. But guys, those are our predictions for TLC 2020. We're going to drop our TLC reaction and, and review right after TLC tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Without further ado, if it doesn't work, you better do not do the job. Later, Marks.